So we have seen in the past, let's say at least 50 years or even more, we have seen a continuing centralization of different powers in the world. So what happens if the central point of failure collapses completely? Do we collapse as a humanity? Do we collapse as society? We need more resilient technology, technology which will be there even in 100 years, no matter who is in power then. It needs to be decentralized. These tools which we build, the cryptography, is generally just empowering people. It's empowering individuals. We need to have this decentralized infrastructure built up um, from, from the ground in a way that it can't be controlled by a single entity anymore. I think that it's very important that we even go back further in time when civilizations were formed and there was always one person or one entity which was holding the power over a larger amount of people. Until today, especially today with corporations, governments, what you guys mentioned earlier, the power or the possibility to actually make a decision or influence how things go uh, for a larger number of people is very, very centralized. And our idea is to decentralize this, to interrupt this, and to give back the opportunity to a single person or to a group of people, actually, to take a decision as a group. I think another point also is transparency that we have to look at, because obviously at the blockchain, each action is being recorded on the ledger at the end of the day. Do you know if your vote is being recorded? Is that something definite? Have you seen somebody actually handling this transaction with your signature? Or do you just listen to what is being stated at the end of the day on news? There's no real proof that actually the votes or the elections got validated in a correct way. With yeah. cryptography or with blockchain we have mathematical proofs. Exactly. 